welcome back to the farm. It's early April, cloudy, rainy day, some of my favorite weather around here. Today I wanted to help you see that, I'll just go ahead and say it, something that looks like a bunch of plant nothing can actually be a lot of food. So this right here, you're looking around in here, I don't know what you see when you look at this. What I see when I look at this is a whole lot of different food plants. And I will go through some of them with you now. So, this one you probably know. This is a small tomato plant. This one you might know if you live in our area. This is a vine with this kind of leaf and this like pretty flower. This is sweet potato. These leaves are edible. They're very healthy and delicious. And there's sweet potatoes growing somewhere down there. And these are their flowers. So pretty. Here we have some pineapples in this tire planter. One, two, three, four. I think there's four. These are from the tops of um, pineapples, probably. What else we have here? This, this is called honohono grass. It's not actually a grass. Um, its scientific name is Comelina diffusa, and it's uh, one of the very difficult to kill wild vines, but you can eat it. You Usually they say to pick the, um, the big pieces in the new growth, and I think it's just the leaves mostly. We eat it, it's good. I put it in ramen. What's this? This is Malabar spinach. And it grows, we also have one growing over here. And it, this one is actually climbing this thing right here. So I guess it's a climber. Um, and it's originally from India. You eat the leafy greens, you can cook them. And here you can see that it's going to make uh, berries. And these berries turn dark purple. And it, here's a little teeny flower. Is that the flower? I don't know what that is. Anyway, Malabar spinach, so it can be propagated either by splitting uh, stems and taking a cutting or through these berries. What else do we have in here? I put a bunch of different stuff in these pots. These look like maybe young peppers. This is a young avocado tree from a seed. This is maybe lychee, and there's like three of them. In there. They were all growing together and I didn't want to separate them. More sweet potato. There might be a tiny papaya in here, I'm not sure. There is more of that honohono grass. What else do we have around here? Another Malabar spinach. This right here is very important. This is the long bean. One of our favorite things to grow around here. Oh, how could I forget this? This is a very wonderful friend. It's our Hawaiian chili pepper tree. I love this plant so much. It's like much taller than me. It's very leggy is what they call it, where it goes like skinny, 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 and then spreads out and it's only gotten taller. So this is a legit chili pepper tree. Look, it's got wood. The funny thing is, we don't remember planting it. It just grows here, and it's right next to our house. It's very convenient. And I am just looking at all this bounty. This is all going to be red chili peppers soon. Just so many delicious chilies. Look at that. And there's a, Hawaiian chili peppers are, I think they're the same species as uh, bird chilies, if you've heard of those. Just look at how many are going to be ripening. I'm so excited. So excited. But uh, I believe they're the same as bird chilies. They're supposed to be extremely spicy, but I must be getting used to them. <laughs> this is a purple type of basil. I don't remember planting this either. <laughs> There's more sweet potato in here. There's even a little succulent in here. Teeny succulent. 
What's it cutting? And here's a Malabar chestnut, otherwise known as money tree. So if you have a money tree, please know that it does make delicious edible nuts that you can eat raw. So that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you. There's other stuff I didn't show you. This isn't all edible, obviously. A lot of it is grass and, you know, this is the bamboo orchid. This is ohia. This is, uh, you know, the wild guava. We didn't plant that here. But such a tiny section. If you don't know what you're looking at, you might not know that it's food, that you're sur literally surrounded by food. So get to know the plants in your area. Just start to be curious about the plants and trees that are in your area. And you might discover that there's a lot to eat that you didn't know. Oh, one more. <laughs> Okinawa spinach, Gynura bicolor. And uh, this one is coming out from under this palette because we actually have a wall of it right here. This is like our primary green leafy vegetable that we cook with. We pretty much harvest from this plant wall every day and cook just a few leaves in the food, put some in soup, put some in stir fry, put some pretty much in whatever, whatever we're cooking. I particularly like them in uh, Korean style savory pancakes, personally. Here's giant taro. So yeah, start to wonder about the plants in your area, and pretty soon areas that look like nothing or like shrubs, you will see food there. All right, till next time. Bye-bye.